Note that this channel broadcasts messages from a range of messengers. Please take every word before the Lord for confirmation. G'day, I'm Rachel and this is First Fruit Taz. I didn't think I'd be recording today, but God has been speaking to me through events and situations as he often does. Um, and I feel that this is going to be one of those crazy rambly videos you'll probably be able to tell just by glancing at the length of the video um holy spirit saying this could go anywhere <laughs> the main topic that i feel coming up is travel when i woke up this morning i saw that christian pierre had recently posted a video and i'll link that here um and he talked about how somebody had who he was thanking people who had sent donations to his ministry and one of those people had sent him some items that were branded Hawaii and Holy Spirit dropped on me that that was that was a sign of things to come that it was God's intention that Christian and his family travel to Hawaii in the not too distant future and so I shared that in the comments I believe that this crisis is a financial setup in many ways and um, it goes beyond finances too for God's obedient warriors, for those who have responded to his calling. Some travelled before this crisis blew up and I know that they, I think of Nate and Christy Johnston for example. They knew that they were to travel for 18 months or so and then it suddenly happened very, very quickly. And so it has happened for some. And we're in a period of time where others will be travelling as soon as the borders are opened. That this is a setup by God to align us, to bring us into position ready to travel. Now, for those, this is for most of you, this will be confirmation. For some of you, it will be one of many voices speaking this to you. And yes, for some of you, it might be over the next six days, you'll see a lot of confirmation of this word. It's all about ministry. It's all about destiny. It's all about eternity and those things that are of eternal value. So, for example, for me, I know I've been told that I'll be sent back to my ancestral home and that I'll, with my family, I'll be laying down a really strong lineage, a strong foundation for generations to come and that God will use them for the building up of his kingdom. He will use my lineage for kingdom purposes. Um... And gee, that's not to say, hey, my family, my lineage and I are special. That's just to say that's what he's doing. And we can all be used in that way so long as we are sensitive to Holy Spirit's leading. And I've gone through a process of purifying my lineage. God has brought me um, understanding and knowledge about my ancestors and roles that they played in certain situations and has led me to repent for the acts of my forefathers and to pray blessings over them and so it's been quite a lengthy process just as God sends me out sometimes on my um, secular activities for income but it always ends up being ministry one way or another he will be sending some people to travel for reasons that have incidental ministry so they might just feel like they're traveling for no specific reason or not a reason or not a reason relating to god but they will find that as they travel people are put before them for ministry and so he's using this way in this hour to bring us before a lot of prodigals and new believers and people who were just on the cusp of um, he's showing me people who were teetering on the edge of believing and and that he'll be using us to open their eyes and open their ears Holy Spirit says I'm I'm going to bring my people into alignment my children into a divine alignment in this hour in this season and I'm filling bank accounts in readiness for a big move of my hand 
And for some people that will look like establishing themselves in new homes, in new houses. And for others, those funds are to go towards travel and they will find that I have made provisions for them at their final destination. Others will be going by foot and traveling with very little. And so this is an hour where I require my children to be sensitive to my leading because some will be required to let go, let go of a lot of stuff, let go of relationships, let go of mindsets and ideas that no longer serve their divine purpose. And others will need to be provision for others. So some will be established already in houses and he's, he's talking to me of a place to roost. He'll be giving a roosting place to my voices and so some of my leadership will be giving provision to other members of my leadership and you need to humble yourself before me come to my throne room to find out which you are who you are in this hour and at the moment we're in a season he's showing me about six weeks of preparation and readiness where he'll be preparing our bank accounts our mindsets our our baggage our um literally the bags we're going to be packing if we're going to be traveling and what we're going to be packing what we're going to take with us what we're going to leave behind and holy spirit says also who we're going to leave behind and how that will be done how he will be leaving provision providing provision for those who are left behind because nobody is truly left behind everybody will find when we're at the other side of this that we are exactly where we're supposed to be guys i'm going to cut a little bit in here that i had already recorded but somehow lost in the process before editing those of you who know my videos that have been watching them for a while will know that i observed judaism for a couple of years uh, Jesus revealed himself to me in August 2017 and weaned me off the Judaism. That process completed in Passover 2018, so two years ago. Thank you, God. The reason I raise this is that God had me make matzah today. Matzah is a flatbread, an unleavened bread that... Jewish communities will make over Passover in commemoration of the fact that leaving Egypt was a rushed process and the Israelites made up the, the flatbread um, very, very quickly. They didn't have time to let their bread rise. They didn't have time to cook it slowly in an oven. And so with, with flatbread, I'll just tell you very quickly the process that I use. I take the flour, I'm gluten free. So I use a combination of guar gum, corn flour, rice flour and just a bit of water, oil and salt just mixed up to taste and to make a dough that's, um, it balls up but it's not sticky to the touch. And then I take walnut, large walnut sized um, balls of the dough, press them flat and fry them in a very high heat in a frying pan and it doesn't take very long at all. It's a very quick way to make bread and my children love it. And so um, after two years of not following Judaism, I did feel, feel led to make the matzah today. And I realized that it's part of this message that I'm delivering today because making the matzah is, is symbolic of the preparation, the period of preparation that we're in right now. And Oh, provision. Holy Spirit's revealing right now that it's also sim symbolic of provision from God for this period of time and this coming season. And it's also symbolic of the fact that once we're through this period of preparation, things will move very quickly. Holy Spirit says, so I'm bringing you into this time of alignment and there's no rush at this minute, but I want you to be sensitive to my leading and is showing someone packing their bags so he wants us to to just be in a, be in a peaceful time of pre preparedness preparation readiness and he says <laughs> and i'm going to fire the starting gun and you will know when you're off you'll know when it's time to start this journey 
because I will leave no doubt in your mind that this is what you are supposed to be doing in this time. And he's bringing to mind um, Luke Harding and his EP of Christian rap music. And he's bringing to mind Thandi, sorry I pronounced this wrong, it's Tandi Wagaya and her music that she's releasing. And he's bringing to mind Michelle heard the voice of the Lord and her art that she's starting to be open about. And he says, I'm going to, I'm going to wipe everything that has been off the table And I'm setting the table afresh. I'm setting the table anew because this is a new thing that I'm doing. And I want you to release my goodness to the masses, to the world. And I have given you good gifts and I want you to use them. And so he's showing me that you have about six weeks to gather together the resources that he is is providing for you and start to practice those skills in readiness to release them to the masses and holy spirit says i'm i'm weaving my magic on on others in this hour some i haven't mentioned many i haven't mentioned some are completely unaware of what i'm awakening in their spirits in this season but it will look it will look much the same for all my children that there will be a time of peace and quiet, reflection, relaxation, and they will be building resilience until when the time is up, there will be a deafening roar as I release my children into the world for the world to see. And it isn't going to be like before. The world is never going to be the way it was, even though many think that it will be. Many are... He's showing me people sitting there with their legs crossed and their fists clenched and they're not ready for change and they can't they can't come at the idea that God might be doing something new in this hour. And Holy Spirit says, I'm washing I'm washing places clean, I'm washing my remnant clean, and I'm washing I'm wiping the table clean. Don't you see this, sweet child? For no longer do I will for you to wait. No longer do I will for you to be reluctant. I need you to step in, proud of what you can do in me. I need you to step in and be resilient and resourceful and of good cheer. And and I will that you walk in alignment now with me. And he's holding out his hand for us to take. And he's leading us forward. He's leading us forward into new things. For some of you, God has placed books on our hearts. And as we become sensitive to Holy Spirit's leading, we will be given time, resources, funding, whatever it takes, he says, to get my books written and out to the people. He says this isn't a time for fearing the critics. This is a time for going out in confidence because I didn't design you to care what mankind thinks. I designed you wonderfully and fearfully and I made you to have confidence in what I have spoken, what I've whispered in your ear and I want you to receive it and capture it, write it down and share it. It will bless others and you will be rewarded The payoff is that you will be rewarded for your obedience. And is showing that we all have a part in his grand plan. (laughs) No man is an island. Indeed, no man is an island. And we're all here in this hour to reach out to others and to bring others with us. And he's showing me that some of us are well established in some areas, but not in others. And as we reach out, it's not that one person is going to be held aloft above others. It's going to be that he'll bring people together where many have hidden talents, hidden experience, a hidden voice that has never been heard before. But they have all oh so much to offer. And he's highlighting particularly the single mothers, these women who have been doing it in their own strength. They've done it tough. They know how to survive. They know how to thrive in the hard places. 
and they're also now learning how to walk with Holy Spirit's leading. And he says, I'm going to bring my goodness through them to so many places. And he's showing me that there are men who will benefit from these these women who he will bring forth as kingdom wives because he says I'm doing this new thing in this hour because it will benefit many it will benefit many and this people will look back at this and see it as a milestone in my history with mankind because they're going to see that I did this new thing and that many didn't like it to start with at first but in the future many will look back and see the value in the way that I worked through my bride through my remnant he's showing me stars he says I'm lighting up the sky with your goodness for you know it is my light that shines through you sweet children so don't be shy don't be shy because I'm not doing this I'm not blessing you for you for your benefit I'm blessing you for my kingdom power my kingdom glory for my kingdom expansion and I'm blessing you for others that other souls may be saved and so really what you have right now is a huge responsibility and so whatever I've placed on your heart and for some people things will crop up over the coming days whatever I've put before you I want you to grab it with both hands and and run with it and I'm hearing him say drive it drive it to the next town drive it across borders deliver deliver what I've given you so that others can benefit and be blessed some of you are going to laugh at this I'm sure God speaks to me through songs and as I was closing off this video I heard that song This Is It by Melba Moore and Danny Minogue made a recording of it in 1993 and so I'm going to link that right here this is a message for many of us and for some it's more specific than others what really really struck me was the power of this woman's voice and her beautiful grin and yeah God just wants to see us all out on stage when I say out on stage out in the public arena being seen being heard a voice for him and yeah just he really wants some of you to absolutely grab this by the horns he says grab it by the horns and don't let go i pray that this video blesses you have a beautiful day god bless holy father i thank you for placing this video before those you intend to receive it Financial support is welcome and donations can be made by selecting the link in the details box below this video.